Hello mathematicians. Today we see one nice problem asked in a ring theory about uh, ideals, prime ideals and maximal ideals. So we'll see the problem. So let P and Q be two distinct primes. Then we are asked to find the number of ideals in this ring z mod p square q is it okay the options are it has three distinct ideals three distinct prime ideals two distinct prime ideals and has a unique maximum ideal so basically we want to understand the uh, ring basically we want to know how many ideals are there in the ring z mod n e z how many maximal ideals are there in the ring z mod n e z and how many prime ideals are there in the ring z mod n z okay now z mod n z is a finite ring with n elements okay so in any finite ring every maximal ideal is a prime ideal okay so in uh, in general in any ring every maximal ideal is a prime ideal that we all know and uh, but every prime ideal need not be a maximal ideal okay so i hope you know the standard example of a prime ideal which is not a maximal ideal so for example you can take uh, 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 for example you take uh, in the ring of integers you can take a singleton 0 the i equal to singleton 0 then a singleton 0 is a prime ideal okay but it is not a maximal ideal well, there are very um, other very nice examples you can find, find in the literature so in general for example in the infinite rings a maximal a prime ideal need not be maximal okay every maximal ideal is a prime ideal but a prime ideal need not be maximal ideal so we have one example singleton zero is a prime ideal in a integers but it is not a maximal ideal because for example 2 is z which contains all the even integers that contain this in this ideal singleton 0 therefore singleton 0 is not maximal okay now now we are interested in the finite ring okay in finite ring every prime ideal is also a maximal ideal so what we conclude is uh, ideal is prime if and only if maximal so basically counting prime ideal is same as uh, prime counting maximal ideals so we first see why in the finite uh, ring uh, an ideal is uh, prime if and only if uh, maximal uh, yeah so just let me go to the right place so what is our claim r be a finite commutative ring with unity then i is a maximal ideal or if and only if i is a prime ideal of r okay so one direction is obvious if i is a maximal ideal then definitely it is a prime ideal uh, what is the argument uh, the okay i have given if and only if argument so i is a prime ideal suppose then we know that i is a prime ideal if and only if r by i is an integral domain okay so this is a very 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 common result in uh, ring theory you can check again in the topics in algebra i and hestin book okay or uh, contemporary abstract algebra joseph a galian okay these are two very standard abstract algebra textbook or you can find in any other algebra abstract algebra text okay so i is a prime ideal if only if i is an integral domain now this i is an in uh, sorry r by i is an integral so i is a prime ideal if only if r mod i is an integral domain now r is prime therefore r mod i is also sorry uh, r is a finite ring therefore r mod i is also a finite ring okay so now this is a finite ring which is an integral domain a finite integral domain is a field so we get so this is a crucial part finite integral domain is a field that's what we are using generally a field need not yeah, every field is an integral domain but every integral domain need not be a field every integral domain is a field sorry uh, which integral domains are field i mean finite integral domains are field therefore we get r by i is a field now r by i is a field if and only if i is a maximum ideal again similar to this result this is also an important result from here to here okay again you can check in uh, standard abstract algebra textbooks so what we have proved we have crucially used the uh, 
uh, finiteness of r so you see that we get r is a prime ideal if and only sorry again i is a prime ideal if and only if i is a maximum ideal provided r is a finite commutative ring with unity that is a very important thing okay finite commutative ring with unity i i suppose it's uh what else we want i suppose it is true in any finite ring with unity uh, i'm not sure how much we need the commutativity of the ring okay so in the problem so so basically enough to uh, count either prime ideal or maximal ideal in our problem because z mod p square q z is a finite ring has in p square q many elements okay so let's see so this is a cosine ring okay it is of the form r mod i so we want to understand the ideals in the ring r mod i we know the ideals of r usually that's how uh, we, so basically i'll okay uh, we need a result that co connects the ideals in the ring r and the ideals in the ring r mod i okay so that is our first result so this is a result from uh, rings and modules by musili okay it is a very nice textbook for uh, ring theory so first chapter is rings first half of the book is for ring theory second half of the book for modules and uh, so please look at this book rings and modules uh, by musili so what is the result you take a finite commutative ring with unity and uh, i is an ideal of r okay then we are interested in the ideals of the ring the cosine ring r mod i what the statement is what the statement says is there exists a one to one correspondence between the ideals of the cosine ring r mod i and the ideals of r that containing i that means that so the number of ideals in r mod i is equal to number of ideals in r whichever containing i okay so that is our uh, first uh, statement so counting the ideals in r mod i can be reduced to counting the ideals in r that containing i okay so why do we need this result because uh, rather than working with z mod uh, p square q z we know the ideals in z very clearly what are the ideals of z they are all n z okay n z are the only ideals of z so since we know the ideals of the ring integers better we want to compare the ideals in integers and ideals of z mod p square q z that can be done using our this result also this correspondence preserves the inclusion so i'll i will explain what does it mean by an example further this correspondence also uh, extend to prime ideals so there exists a one to one correspondence between the prime ideals of r mod i and the prime ideals of r again containing i okay so maybe the statement looks a little bit uh, uh, tricky let's uh, see one example then it will be very clear okay now to before uh, say uh, my example let's briefly uh, see some basic facts in uh, ring theory you take a commutative ring with unity and i take an element from r what this is the symbol for ideal generated by a okay so what is ideal generated by a this consists of set of all r a such that r belongs to r okay then one can verify that this is indeed an ideal in r okay now you take a principal ideal domain so what is a principal ideal domain principal ideal domain means every ideal is of the form bracket a okay so every ideal is generated by one element okay then now i take two ideals i and j from r okay then since i am taking it from a principal ideal i can write i as bracket a for some a and j as bracket b for some b okay now these are all just assumption i am taking r as a principal ideal domain and i have considered two ideals from r now we want to say when i is contained in j okay why do we want to compare the ideals because we are interested in finding the maximal ideals okay maximal ideal means 
there is no other ideal that containing this ideal okay the except the whole ring okay whole ring is always an ideal that we know okay so the only ideal containing this ideal is itself or the only ideal containing this ideal is a whole ring then we call such ideal maximal ideal okay so basically we want to see when which ideal are bigger which ideal is smaller so we need this uh, result so i is contained in j so this ideal contained in this ideal if and only if this number divides this number okay not that i is generated by a j is uh, generated by we are not getting a divides b we are getting b divides a okay it is a very important thing it's uh, okay so the proof is uh, again you can check in uh, uh, contemporary abstract algebra joseph hegelian or his ian hestin book also has even this result is true for any euclidean domain because every euclidean domain is a principal ideal domain so you look at the the result is proved for a more general case of euclidean rings are you current domains okay please check that now we come to our example to illu that illustrates the correspondence between ideals of r and ideals of r mod i okay so what is the result uh, now we i take r to be ring of integers for our purpose i to be 6 is z okay 6 is z is an ideal of uh, z now for, for our later purpose i have listed here the divisors of 6 okay now i so now this is z is a euclidean domain okay with the with the with the euclidean function given by modulus okay please check what is the definition of euclidean domain in uh, in uh, topics in algebra in his team then since it's a euclidean domain it is a principal ideal domain therefore every uh, ideal is generated by one element okay so basically every ideal in z is of the form n is z now I am interested in the ideal. Now I am interested in the ideals in six is it mod six is it? Okay. So by our result, understanding the ideals in six mod is it is same as understanding the ideals in is it that contains six is it? Okay. So now I am I am checking which ideal, which n is it are containing our ideal six is it? Now again by this result, what we get 6 is at contained in n is at if and only if this n should divide 6. Okay, by this result. So what again if and only if n equal to either 1 or 2 or 3 or 6. Okay. Therefore, what are all the ideals containing 6 is at? We get n if you take n equal to 1, we get uh, is at. Okay. If you take n equal to 2, we get uh, 2 is z. For 3, we get 3 is z. For 6, I get 6 is z. Okay. And uh, what is the inclusion relation among them? Again, by using this result, I have uh, put this uh, inclusion diagram of ideals that contains 6 is z in z. Okay. So basically, 6 is z uh, contained in 3 is z, 6 is z contained in 2 is z. These two ideals are not comparable. Okay, this contains even number, this contains R number, so you cannot compare them. But uh, again, Z contains both uh, 2 is Z and 3 is Z. Okay. Now, if you look at uh, Z mod 6 is Z, what are the ideals here? If you work out by hand, you will see that the ideals in Z mod 6 is Z are Z 2 is Z by 6 is Z, 3 is Z by 6 is Z, 6 is Z by 6 is it what is 6 is it plus 6 is it it is just a single element containing the coset 6 is it plus 0 okay now what is this notation 3 is it by 6 is it 2 is it by 6 is it so uh, this is the definition of uh, p is it by n is it so p is it by n is it means it contains all the right coset of n is it where the coset representatives are coming from the numerator okay so what we conclude is ideals of z mod 6 is that are of the form you see all the so here i, I you, you have one is that so this is two is that this is three is that this is six is that so for each divisor we have a ideal in z mod 6 is that and similarly in is that if you look at the ideals containing six is that they are also in this look they also looks like the same okay now uh, so what is the correspondence 
this is the correspondence z goes to z mod 6 is a full ring goes to full ring then this uh, 2 is it goes to 2 is at comma 6 is at then this 3 is it goes to 3 is at mod 6 is at then this 6 is it goes to 6 is at by 6 is at okay in general what is the correspondence uh, we are getting here we are getting k is at goes to k is at mod n is at okay so if you take an ideal containing n is at in z you have to map it, map it to k is at by n is at so this way we will get all the ideals in z mod n is at okay so i hope you understand what i'm saying uh, this way so basically you want to find all the ideals here but you can find all the ideals here easily once you got all the ideals containing 6 is set, you just transfer it to here. Okay. Then you will get all the ideals here. So, from also, now we know that this n is set. n is set is a prime ideal. You can say prime or maximal, everything is same because uh, integers is, uh, is a yeah, Euclidean domain. Therefore, n is set is a prime ideal or maximal ideal if and only if n is prime. So, that is a one uh, common result that you can prove just by from the definition it will just follows. Okay. Uh, so, from that result we see that this 2 is set and 3 is set are the prime ideals containing 6 is set. Therefore, by our uh, second part of our result there exists a one to one correspondence between prime ideals of R mod i and the prime ideals of R containing i. So, these two are the prime ideals containing 6 is set. Therefore, we see that these two are the prime ideals in Z mod 6 Z. Okay. So, how many prime ideals are there that containing 6 Z? There are two. And one for each prime divisor of 6 Z. Okay. Therefore, in Z mod N Z, for each prime divisor of N, we get a prime ideal. Okay. So, what is the number of ideals? in z mod n is set for each divisor we are getting a see 1 2 3 6 for each divisor we are getting an ideal therefore number of ideals in z mod n is set is equal to the number of distinct sorry uh, the number of ideals in z mod n is set is equal to the number of divisors of n and the number of prime ideal is equal to so, if you take n equal to p1 power alpha 1 etc, p k power alpha k, then the number of prime ideals in z mod n is set is equal to the number of distinct prime divisors of n. Okay. Okay. So, in, so not just that, we know what are all the prime ideals of z mod n is set. What are the prime ideals of z mod is set? If so for 6, 2 and 3 are the prime divisor, so 2 is set by 6 is set and 3 is set by 6 is set are the prime ideals in Z mod is 6 is set. In general, if n equal to p1 power alpha 1 etc etc p k power alpha k, then the prime ideals of Z mod n is set are p1 is set, this prime, p1 is set by n is set, p2 is set by n is set, p k is set by n is set. So, we get k. What is k? Number of distinct prime divisors of Z, okay so now we know the number of ideas that is equal to number of divisors number of prime ideals equal to number of prime divisors okay again i am saying for your understanding number of ideals equal to number of divisors number of prime ideals equal to number of prime divisors so naturally they are in association so now let's come to the problem so we are asked how about p square q so p square q has two distinct prime divisors P is a prime divisor, Q is a prime divisor. Since it has two distinct prime divisor, it has exactly two distinct prime ideals by our result. So, option third is the correct answer. We see why other options are wrong. So, fourth option says that P, Z mod P square Q has a unique maximal ideal. If it has a unique maximal ideal, then it has a unique prime ideal because prime ideal and unique, sorry, prime ideal and maximal ideal are same. But we know that uh, it doesn't have a unique maximum ideal. It has uh, two maximum ideal because it has two prime ideal. Therefore, this option is wrong. And uh, second option says Z mod P square Q has exactly three prime ideals. That is also wrong. Again, first option says Z mod P square Q has exactly three distinct ideals. 
okay let's see why it is true to find the number of ideals in z mod p square q is that we have to find the number of divisors of p square q so how to find the number of divisors of p square q so here i have two i have one so you add one to the powers i get two plus one into one plus one so that is three times two equal to six so six is the number of divisors of p square q therefore z mod p square q is that has six distinct ideals so three is wrong okay so we conclude that three is the right option okay so in this one problem alone we have seen many interesting ideas about uh, ideals prime ideals and the maximal ideals and this will be very useful in other problem also that is the important uh, so this is the important aspect of uh, our method of uh, problem solving okay i hope you understand take care i'll see you in some other problem